What's up guys, my name is Not Henry, and in today's video I'm starting a short series on creating a Discord bot for Discord. We're going to be using the latest version of Discord JS, which I think is 14.11.0. So, with further ado, let's get right into this. First, I recommend Node.js 16 or higher. The LTS would work, and or you can use the current, but the LTS just has long-term support. Next up, you need a code IDE or code compiler, or I don't know what you call these, but just download Visual Studio Code, I recommend it, uh, or choose Linux or Mac. Next up, you want to create a new application, just name it anything and then create the bot for it to automatically be created. Oh, I can't speak some for some reason, but I already did that and then you just have to invite it to your Discord testing server. If you don't know how to do that, I would recommend go and watch our other tutorial. Now back to your desktop. Here you want to create a folder and just call it after your Discord bot. There you go, YouTube bot. Next, you want to open that folder and click anywhere in this rectangle. You can just do CMD then, once you click there and hit enter. This will create it automatically, well, open a command prompt automatically in this directory where this folder is. You can also do Windows R and then type in CMD and then hit enter and then just use CD to get to that location. But for me, I use CMD here and then I open it right here. Now you want to run a couple of commands. First one is you want to initialize Node.js. So you're going to do npm init and then you want to enter. This can take a while uh, can, uh, uh, hanging off of how slow you or fast your computer is. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so it turned out my command prompt lagged, but now it finally ran. You can ignore these. Uh, this is just you. It just tells you what you're doing. But basically, you're creating a package.json file. So yeah so the package name you can leave this as default or you can change it i recommend don't use capital letters you can use capital letters i think i haven't done it in capital letters but anyway you can just leave that as default the vision you can leave it as default the description is completely optional the entry point we are going to change that so you want to change it well you don't have to change it but you i want to change it to src slash index or js Basically what this does is, it just puts it in a source folder to just keep your code clean and don't make it in the main directory of the file uh, because it can get a little bit weird when importing things. So we're just going to enter test command, it's completely optional, you can add node space dot there, uh, it's like I said it's completely optional. Get repository is optional, keywords are optional and the author is optional but I recommend putting in your name like that uh, it can be a discord name your real name whatever name you have your minecraft name even and that the license you leave as default isc and then you just is this okay this just sends all what is all going to be in the uh, javascript well json file about to write package.json uh, so you just type yes or just enter i like to type yes for just keeping it sure but <laughs> Uh, what was that? I don't know what that was, but now you're done. Now you basically have one command left that you need to do. I think one. I, I might be calculating wrong. But basically you want to import, well, download Discord.js and another thing, .env. So you're going to do npm ai for install and then discord.js and this will install the main version at the time or the most what do you call it up-to-date version at the time of recording or at the time of you installing it but you can always do at 14.10.2 to get a different version but i will just download the main version that is being used today and you just leave a space and you do dot env after you've done this this should download it it crashed once more i don't know why once that is done you should see this and now you can just minimize this 
So now you're back in your file folder. So you want to right click it and with Visual Studio Code or and I think a lot of others, you can say open with code and then you open it. You can also close this folder. So now that Visual Studio Code is open, you remember when we said our main report, well, our main full file will be an src slash index.js. Well, here that comes into play. In this area, in your explorer, you want to create a new folder and just call it src. This will create a source folder. Once that file is created, you want to in that file create index.js. And this is your main file. And once that is done, you should be fine with creating any files for the rest of the video. Now we can actually start coding the bots. So I will leave a link to a, a, a text file which you can download, which will have all the code inside. Um, you can just go down on that and start from there. But first you want to import Discord and also dot env well things from discord and dot env so you can just do const and then you can create open bracket open curly bracket and then require and then another bracket normal brackets and then just do discord dot js and in here you're just going to type in clients which should come up with clients and gateway intents bits and also activity type because it's something I want to show you. Activity type. So this is all you're going to need for today's video uh, for Discord. Next, you want to import config. Well, config from .env. Like this. .env. And there we go. That's done. So first what you want to run is convict. And before we continue with anything, I'm instantly going to import our token. So const token equals process process.env.token. So what is process.env? Well, that is another file. I know I said you're not going to create any other files. But yeah, I didn't think forward. So create a new file and just call this .env. As simple as that. And in this, you can just do token. And this is case sensitive. And then do an equal. And then comes the Discord bot token in play. So you go back into your Discord bot application. And you go to your bots. And here you want to hit the reset token button. I will be set resetting this after the video, but you can copy that, go back into Visual Studio Code, and paste it right there, just like that. And now that we're back in the main file, as you highlight over string token, you would see it's a string undefined. So token is a string, which is undefined. So now we have to actually declare our client. So we can do const, another const, Client equals new client. And then you add brackets and then curly brackets inside of them. Then intents and a colon and then a square brackets, which is an array. And in here, you want to do gateway intents bits dot guilds. And that's all the intents that you're going to need for now. Next up. You want to actually log in your Discord bot. So first, you're going to do client and simply log in, and then brackets and then token. It's as simple as that. And if we go back to this file and we do node space node space dots, as you will see, the bot should be online. It doesn't tell you anything. If we go check Discord, yeah, the bot is online. You successfully started your Discord bot. Now we're going to go back because you actually want to know when your bot is online. So we're going to do a new function. Client dot on. And then quotation marks ready. 
next to the quotation marks a comma, open brackets, open and close brackets, and then an arrow function. We don't have to get into detail what an arrow function is, but basically, it's just a function, <laughs> to put it simply, to put it easy. So now you want to do console dot log, and then I don't know what you call these, but I think, but it's like an asterisk type thing. I don't know. It's the single quotation type thing. But anyway, you it's the swiggly thing. Just hit that button. It should be next to one on the keyboard. I'm making this really complicated. Sorry for that. But now you want to put a dollar sign and open brackets. And in here you want to do client dot user dot user name and then it's online and then an exclamation mark a point whatever that is a string it doesn't matter and now if we go back into here we hit control c to stop well terminate the batch uh, the batch command and we do node space dot again you will see once the bot officially starts it should say YouTube bot is online, and if you go back, you should see it as online. So, basically, that's the basics of it. Now, I want to show you guys one thing. So, if you go to a server, you see this, playing slash help, or playing dino.gg, question mark help, or watching the server slash help. I'm going to show you how to do that, because I don't see a lot of easy com tutorials out there that do this. So back in your client dot on ready that this this function, you want to do client dot user dot set activity not AFK activity and a bracket and then quotation marks. We'll get to this quotation marks in a second. Squirrely brackets and a type. This is a lot and then you do activity type dot any any one of these i i'm just going to choose playing because it's the default now in these squiggly brackets not squiggly brackets i mean quotation marks you put any string in and just to say do this pg uh family friendly not something 18 plus ns ns fw etc keep it pg friend family friendly and do a YouTube video and there we go so this would do exactly what we want if we go back and start it again this shouldn't take a long time there we go YouTube bot is online if we go back you should see YouTube bot playing a YouTube video you've just done it but I don't do that a lot so I'm just gonna Comment that out. So if you want to get the code, this you just have to remove. Just remove that to actually put a status or activity to your Discord bot. But I just want to say thanks for watching the video. My name was not Henry. I'll see you guys in the next video, which is probably going to be adding interaction commands like slash commands and I'm also going to show you how to do prefix commands. So that was me, my name is Henry, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, bye for now.